Hey guys, welcome to this, uh, let's say, review. I've got the Vengeance RPX RAM from Corsa here. It's running 3200 MHz. It's a dual kit with two 8GB sticks, so it's running 16GB. Um, this is one of the two packages I have, and I've tested this with both 16 and 32 gigabytes. So here we have it. This is the kit. And this is the back side. There you got the number. So that's CMK 16G X4 M2 B3 200 C16. What does it mean? That's 16 gigabytes X4 M2B 3200 CL16 timings you can see here so that's 16, 18, 18, 36 and let's get out of the package there it is so I'm using the Crosshair 6 Hero mainboard for this RAM and I use the bias that is the number 1002 and when I put in 16 gigabytes that means these two sticks and I could achieve the advertised 13200 that this kit offers when I put in four of these I couldn't reach that anymore and I was stuck to 2,666. Um, I tried all my games like Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, uh, Paladins and whatnot with Chrome open and whatnot but I couldn't manage to get use of the extra 16 gigabytes. I could not make use of it at all. Not even with Sony Vegas video editing, it just doesn't use much RAM. So what I did, I, I popped these two out again, and I'm running the other two that I've got in the main system at 3200. And well, I just wanted to do this so you guys know that if you get four of these, you can at least run 2,666 megahertz obviously that's the overclocked speed so you need to dial in 1.35 volts also this is the version 5.39 what that means is Corsair put out different versions of this Vengeance LPX 3200 RAM in this kit size so you have to watch that. This RAM is actually on the QVL of my mainboard, so I basically knew that it was that it was running at this and would be running at this. However, on the QVL it just says two part, uh, two times eight gigabytes. So putting four times eight gigabytes actually violates the QVL, and well, it doesn't run in the advertised speed but at least 2666 I did BAM test on all of the four DIMMs and actually this one is an older one because it says it's made for Intel i5 and i7 6th gen processors but it also does work with Ryzen so no worries there the other one is a new brand new kit it doesn't say this and it just works the same I believe they just changed the naming on the sticker so Ryzen BIOS don't get confused because earlier there was no Ryzen lineup where you could match this RAM with just just Intel um, yeah so but I guess they just updated their sticker to do not confuse Ryzen BIOS 
here we here we see that's 2015 RAM. So it's basically two, two years old by now. But it has a limited lifetime warranty. In Germany that's 10 years. So that shouldn't be an issue. So we basically got guarantee until 2025. And here it says again what is on the sticker. Although this is printed on. So Intel Core i7 Extreme and Core Series. Yeah. I did an SPD. Um, and this is single rank. I don't know what. I don't, I don't know whether it's Samsung VDI, but it's single rank. And that's basically the reason why Ryzen is so happy with it. But now, see you guys. Bye bye.